Hello and welcome to the demo portion of today's video. Today we are trying out the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm X No Filter Primer. This is a no filter primer that visibly tightens, firms, and blurs the look of fine lines and pores for a temporary effect and flawless makeup application. You can find this at Sephora and PeterThomasRoth.com. It will be linked down below for you. A one ounce or 30 ml unit of this retails for $42 and this is perfect for normal, dry, combo, and oily skin types. This does have a natural finish and it does contain a blend of silicates and seaweed extract which Peter Thomas Roth has trademarked as Fermatite. We also see Centella Asiatica, ascorbic acid, along with another Peter Thomas Roth trademark, Elastiflex IQ, which helps to improve the look of smoothness and elasticity over time. Peter Thomas Roth very kindly sent this over as PR and I am not getting paid to share my thoughts and opinions with you all. Instructions for use. You want to shake well. So we are shaking this and you can definitely hear some activity there. See this is what it looks like. I am applying about this much here. Sparingly apply a thin layer to cleansed dry skin. I am going to attempt to apply this over a full skincare routine. I did use a toner serum by Drunk Elephant and an SPF. It has been well over five minutes since I applied it, so it should be dry. So we will see how this performs. Will it pill? I don't know. We will find out. Um, you do want to remain expressionless for about three to seven minutes. I'm not sure if I can do that. Once the skin feels pulled tight, you can continue with your makeup application. So I may have swatched this for a real. Not quite sure. I don't remember. It has been a while since I got this. I think I shared it in a PR haul video. I will link that up above in case you're interested. And I did see some interest in me testing this. So here we are. Okay, so it has been seven minutes. Skin does feel tight. Um, and I had a major glow going underneath um, with all of my skincare. And I, I do feel as if it has sort of mattified the look of my skin slightly, but it does look and appear smoother. I'm not quite sure if it looks more lifted. I'll let you be the judge of that. I am recording this a week post vacation holiday, so I do have a bit of like a tan happening. It was summertime where I visited, so I am going to be using my usual, the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. This last week I have been mixing both my tan and my winter shade 260 and shade 300. So I will be using both of these with uh, my favorite method of application which is the Morphe M439 brush here. So let's put the foundation over top of the skin. Let's see if it pills. Let's see how the uh, primer does with my current favorite foundation. I have just finished applying my foundation and wow. No pilling, no flaking. I am loving this so far. I am loving how my forehead just looks flawless and these lines that have been bothering me so badly recently look so much smoother. I am going to apply the rest of my uh, makeup and I will check back in with you in a few seconds. Okay, so I am back. I have done my full face of makeup today and I have not set my makeup. I will say that this has not pilled or flaked at all 
currently I am just loving how everything is looking. Let me know how this is translating for you on film, but I am loving the look of my forehead. The skin just looks firmer and so delicious. I do have a problem with this where I didn't apply it here on my eyes, you can totally tell there's like a difference in texture. I'm gonna zoom you in. Let's see if perhaps the camera picks it up, but I can totally tell a difference between this and this space here. This looks like thicker, and here it's a little bit harder to tell. And perhaps here, it is harder to tell as well, since I do have some highlighter, blush, bronzer now. But here you can definitely see a difference between textures. So this is where I'm assuming I applied the primer and this is where I did not. So I'm not sure if uh, it is recommended that you apply this all over the eye space as well, but I will just note that for you all. I am using the Benefit the Pore Professional Super Setter. This is what I do every day. And then I do refresh my makeup after work at around three or four o'clock. Just love the Fine Mist. This product, one of my favorites of 2022. Um, I did also make sure to leave about 10 minutes for my skincare to fully set in. Then I went in with this applied a, I would say, a very thin layer of this, allowed it to dry for the full seven minutes, and I tried to remain expressionless as directed by Peter Thomas Roth here, and I feel like that definitely made a difference. So I can still see the difference between the area without the primer and the area with the primer. At least on this eye. This eye, I can't really tell so much. So I am going to go ahead and carry on with filming the rest of the videos I have to film today. I will check back in with you in a few seconds. So we are really, really close up for our first and final check-in. It is about to be 10 p.m. I have been filming all evening. I just had dinner. I still need to pick up after myself because it is a literal chaos over here. Let me know if what you see on film here. I am loving how my forehead is looking here. Um, there is the tiniest bit of creasing happening here. Um, and a little bit of separation here on the upper lip. I did sweat during one of the videos I filmed today. So that happens with some of my foundation when it gets really hot. I did have the heater on. Um, so that happens. And there is a little bit of creasing here on the nose. And I can still see the separation for me here. There's probably some food on my chin as well. I am loving just this T-zone area here. And, oh, I just kind of scratched some of the makeup off. Loving how the cheek area looks. I do feel like it is smoothing and it did help to diffuse the appearance of some of my pores here along the forehead. It's just kind of like this inner cheek area and creases of the nose that I am having a problem with. But I do like how my skin looks on the viewfinder here. Very curious to see how it will translate for me once I start editing this. Looking at this, um, I would probably give this an 8 out of 10. This is probably the biggest crease moment I have seen on me in a while with using a primer. This area here that's giving me problems right now and it could have just been that I was just talking for you know two to three hours straight that caused this creasing but I am giving this an 8 out of 10 so far, um, but overall I'm impressed. I did like that softening, blurring effect 
and perhaps like a little bit of firming effect here along the highest points of the cheeks. Um, I will test this during the week when I have enough time to kind of let my skincare dry and let the primer just kind of sit for a good seven solid minutes. I am also going to, once I use this again, try to put it all over the face. That way I don't have this happening to me. And I will see you perhaps in my next check-in. Oh. Hi friends, welcome back. I am doing my, I want to say final check-in for the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm X No Filter Primer first impressions slash review. I wore this to work full day, sort of. I did advanced treatments today, so I wasn't necessarily sitting in front of the steamer the entire day. Pardon my hair, but you know, it's like the middle of the week. It's been raining. This is what you get today. So let's do a check-in. Um, I found that this I really just enjoy how my skin looks immediately after applying this and doing a full face of makeup. So I love that. Um, I did a full daytime skincare routine. I did the toner, the serum, the moisturizer, the SPF, the eye products. And then I applied this went downstairs, did my smoothie, and then I tried not to do any facial expressions as well. However, I was listening to Emily D. Baker, and she is like watching or uh, streaming the Gwyneth Paltrow case. So I tried my hardest not to make any facial expressions, but that can be a little tough since she can be quite Funny. I really enjoy how this primer looks immediately after applying a full face of makeup and setting it. And even now, almost 6 o'clock, so I apply my makeup at around 8.45, 9 a.m. This makeup has been on my skin for about 8 to 9 hours. I'm not using any filters on the camera, so this is the real deal here. I am absolutely obsessed with how my forehead looks. That's typically normal for me. I did apply this to the eyes this time because when I did my first impressions with you all, it, there was a, sub, a separation, a line of demarcation where I didn't apply the primer. And this time I applied it to the eye area. Hopefully it, it says um, that you can apply it to the eyes. Otherwise, I don't recommend that you do that. No line of demarcation here. I will, however, say that I still have that creasing here on my nose. Makeup did come off. Perhaps I sneezed. Perhaps I went like this. You just never know with me. It's been one of those days as well. I did not refresh my makeup today. So I want to say that this looks good. Sometimes I do sweat here so my upper lip always looks a little strange. Um, but my only I would say gripe with this is just the creasing here on my nose. Perhaps that's been happening with other primers as well and I just haven't noticed. Lord only knows, but I do like how the cheeks here look smoother, pores look smoother as well. Let me actually refresh my makeup since we're here, we're hanging out, we're doing the thing. Um, okay, so let's see here. Um, not sure if you can see this caking up here. That's happening along the chin. This travel mirror I got has 10 times magnification and it is truly just showing me things that I shouldn't be able to see. Like with the regular mirror, the makeup looks fantastic. But then when I look at the 10 times magnification area of this and I really look at my nose and I really look at my chin, I am still liking this. I think that after nine hours of wear, 
it looks okay. I am again having issues now that I'm seeing it at 10 times magnification with the chin and the folds here. So there is creasing, do be warned. A little cakiness. Maybe I applied too much foundation or too much powder here. But overall, I, I think I wanna stick with my eight, perhaps seven and a half, eight. So I do feel like I did see some tightening effect firming effect and a blurring effect. Definitely the blurring effect. It blurs the appearance of fine lines and pores. I would say fine lines are very, very small, almost, you know, undetectable lines. I feel like that will definitely be blurred. Deeper lines that have existed within the skin for a much longer period of time, I don't think that it will, you know, give you that much of a, of a lift firming or a blurring. So do have some kind of realistic expectations with that. Universal tint corrects the look of uneven tone. Hmm, I'm not sure if I really looked out for that, but let me show you the texture of it since I have you here. And I don't think I did that during my first impression. So it does have a bit of a natural tint to it. Um, I'm not sure if this will work on deeper skin tones, but I will say that having just come back from vacation and having been exposed to like summer sun near the equator I did come back with a deeper complexion. So this is the product on the back of my hand here, but it does have that kind of mattifying effect over the skin and you can feel it kind of tightening and kind of gripping the skin. Do you find that those claims are, are definitely met? And even so you can see it, um, the blurring of the much finer lines and then you can see, or the hand without the product here. So I think I will stick to my eight out of 10 rating here. If it does change any more, I will make sure to uh, pin a comment for you down below. This is, this I would say is definitely a product for someone who is perhaps late to mid thirties who wants to improve upon the appearance of their skin without, um, you know, doing advanced skincare treatments and um, going under the knife or the needles and stuff. This is temporary, so it's not going to permanently improve upon the appearance of your skin or, you know, give you that three to six month diffusion of, of lines and wrinkles, even up to a year if you are using injectables or fillers. So that is all <laughs> for my check-in with you all today. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video and my rainy day hair. I hope you are all a having a lovely, lovely week. And I will see you next time. Actually, I'll see you in a bit. I'm gonna roll the outro. All right, friends, that is all I have for today's video. Let me know if you will be adding the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm X No Filter Primer to your cart. Did you notice any firming, any blurring on my skin? Do let me know in the comments down below as I am always curious as to how things come across to you, the viewer, um, on video here. For now, I would say that I would recommend this. I am loving the results right now as of the start of my filming here. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. 360. I'm sorry. So, uh, so you can see it like instantly smooth. Holy cow. Instantly smooth the back of my hand here. Go me. I. One, two, three, four, five, 